George, I'm sorry to see you up here. Well, yes, but I died for a worthy cause. My body. My little green body. Okay, at least this Scottish groundskeeper will give your remains a respectful burial. Into the cropper you go. I can't put these grades on the refrigerator. I can't even put them on the garage refrigerator. <laughs> Not a success. Everything we've tried with Bart has failed. What if there's nothing we can do? Mm, nothing we can do is a whole lot better. Mm, an expert with a new book to promote. Oh, I wonder if she'd be willing to speak to a group for a fee. The answer? Zuka, huh? Positive reinforcement. Oh. I had a nightmare where that happened to Bart, but I never told you about it. I love it when you don't tell me things. The cure? Praise. Oh. Oh. Praise they can hold in their hands. Yes, trophies. That's what Bart needs. This is how we save him. I never got a trophy when I was a kid, and I turned out just... How'd you get that thing in my bed without waking me up? Because you're a champion sleeper. Well, it's just a waste of gullible parents' money. Waste of gullible parents' money. Gullible parents' money. I thought you agreed that trophies should be earned. I'm earning nature's trophy. Money. You're the best around. Nothing's gonna ever keep you down. You're the best. Nothing's gonna ever keep you down. You're the best. Not to mention the self-esteem that comes from wad riffling. Look, I even put the boy to work. The parts are of the highest quality. They come from the China of China, India. See, giving him trophies did nothing. You've showered him with praise and he's just as lazy as ever. And no matter how hard he tries, which he never will, Bart will always be a screw-up. Look at that whimpering little crybaby. Mwah! Mwah! Abe, that's your grandson. Oh, he's just repeating what he heard as a boy from me. Oh, I was an awful father, just like my old man. But no matter how many strangles he patented, his father never approved. Our family's most prized possession, a Beaumont Chronomaster Elite. You are special. You're like my prostate, a spiky little troublemaker who plays by his own rules. Every tick will remind you, you've got a grandpa who believes in you. The same way I believe the retirement home. Why is my trophy the smallest? You all lost to me. Why do you always have to make trouble, ye wee harpy? And there's no shortage of experts who want to tell them. No shortage of experts. Experts. Too much praise creates millennials. A generation of soft, entitled narcissists. Get up. Retry. I don't care if you're... Tired. He's got a word made of other words. No more trophies! No more trophies! Uh-oh. You are scum, sir! Stupid parenting method I can't exploit for money. Actually kind of makes sense. Hate it so much. Yeah, right. That watch means nothing to me. Really? Then how do you explain that case you made? I'm born of a desperate need for approval from a father who couldn't show love. If you say so. Now, I'm gonna take this out and see what life is like with real love and encouragement ticking in my pocket. Come down. That should be where Grandpa's watch landed. Ow! 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 Not a single one has missed me! My trophies were earned. Even the soccer one? I went to most of the practices. I guess I can live with being a useless, worthless nothing as long as no one finds out. Sweetie, your grandpa's on the phone. There's something I have to tell you. Hold on one second. I'm just finishing up a mandatory pre-article heart exam. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow at 10 a.m. And you won't be late because you've got that watch. My trophy business has failed and Bart has the thing I wanted most. Grandpa's watch. Ten dollars to throw them in my dumpster. How about I give you a trophy that says best pawn shop? Not unless I earned it. That dude's seen a lot of living. Bart, look what daddy's got now. <laughs> mm, come on, foot kick, damn you. Mm. <sighs> It's stuck in your hand fat. Oh, you gotta wedge something in there to break the vacuum.
There's an exciting dark horse this year. It's a player from Springfield by the name of Ralph Wiggum. Uh-oh. Ralph Wiggum, power forward. I'm a millionaire! Ah! What's the song from that show with Al Bundy? No, he's on Modern Family. Zip me. My pleasure. Then you do me. Harder. Come on. Harder. 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 Yeah, that's, that's it. it. That's it. Harder. 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 Oh. Oh, how did you manage to get a babysitter? I thought we were blacklisted. Blacklisted by humans? Everything I say is a lie. I am lying right now. But I am familiar with Epimenides' paradox. Sorry, Homer. Looks like you have to spend time with your children. I finally had to accept she ain't coming back to me. She's dead. That's one of the reasons. Oh, my God. Two Did you start drinking again? No, 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 no. I nev never stopped. Hart, do something. Back to, back to jail I go. The game of life? I already lost. Hatchimals? Two newfangled. Pick up sticks. Like a rumba. Sir, this is just Monopoly money. Here's a hundred. What's going on here? What are you doing? Well, he wasn't much fun, so he went out for ice cream. I see they already shaved your head for the electroshock. That'll save us time. I'm not the crazy one. I'm not crazy. We'll talk more once you have a piece of leather in your teeth. Mmm, leather. He's fine now, but I'm telling you, Grandpa totally lost it when I brought out the army men. Ah! Oh my God, Dad. What happened to you? Big smile! You know how I hate to reminisce? I've hated reminiscing ever since that day in 1937. Ooh. Ooh. The war ended two years ago, creep. How'd you like to make 50 bucks for half a day's work? 50 simoleons for half a cockadoodle doo The war was over and America turned to toys. Finally, putty could be silly again. Boy, this toy modeling is a great racket. That's what you think. Did they pay you? <gasps> they never did! Well, that's what's torturing you. When was the last time I said I love you? Godspeed! For me, the tiny green plastic war never ended. You got an email from the toy company. They want you to visit them in New York City. All expenses paid. Don't worry about <laughs> buckling up or putting your chairs back. You're on a roll. Leave the cart. From my shoulders, you can see Rhode Island. Oh, you never called him out for his bad behavior? No, but I put mercury in his coffee. You think I left millions on the table? That doesn't sound like me, Heflin! Yes, the finest war and fashion photographer I ever knew. <gasps> This is the most fun I've had since not dying in the war. Ah! No! Stop shooting! You ruined a man's career? Oh, and all he was doing was expressing his love for me. According to Cyberstalker.com, he now lives in a small town in Texas. It's open carry. Our manhood is under assault, Sergeant! Incoming gay panic! <laughs> We're all going to Texas. The plant can get by without me for a little longer. Marfa is the art capital of Texas. Over there are the Marfa Lights. Oh, how magical! 37 miles to my destiny. Son, stop! You might be strangling him because of your own conflicted feelings. Were you thoughtful? Ah! He was supposed to take my picture, then he got sweet on me. I'm sorry I ruined your life. Ruined my life? You saved it. My wife took it well. I landed here, and I've never had a day of regret since. Never too late to find out what your true self is. 
It's a shot I always wanted and never got. Your beautiful smile. The Alamo's not the only thing I'm gonna remember. Sorry, my friend. Radio Man, a little dance music, if you please. Oh, this is too sad. Let's melt him in the microwave. Oh, boy! Animation is so great. It's way better than whatever the alternative is. Electro web, deploy! It's okay for us to watch cartoons? Mm hmm, this one's fine and dandy, Roddy. It's approved by a council of Prince Lutheran ministers. <laughs> Also, sir, your loudmouth leopard is a ripoff of Jackie Gleason. Hamana, hamana. Folks, you're about to witness the exciting new process of motion capture animation. Hmm. <laughs> I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Urinal okay, cake eroding, 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 gone! <laughs> See? Draw my life savings, please. And hurry! Uh, sir, this is a joint account. Uh, you'll need your wife's signature, too. Ask the man for some candy. No, no, no candy for you. Then at least get some candy for yourself. Are you sure you understand the risks of stock ownership? Absolutely. We're in the money! We're in the money! Yahoo! Up six and a quarter. Uh, what is this crap? Fox Broadcasting. Down eight. After plunging 75 points this morning. Oh, I hope plunging means up and 75 means 200. <laughs> <laughs> All right, first item. I lost our life savings in the stock market. Now let's move on to the real issue. Point of order, I didn't lose all the money. There was enough left for this cowbell. You rent your womb to a rich, childless couple. If you agree, signify by getting indignant. Are you crazy? I got a great way to make money. I'm a human guinea pig. You mean like medical testing? Yeah, medical, military. Are those ears? Ow, not so loud! Hmm. Homer, you really have no desire to eat that food? Food? <laughs> I'm blind! <laughs> so, where did that rat come from? He must have brought it in with him. Rotate 20 degrees. Uh... You see, whenever I pick up an x-ray, I always hold it like this. My thumb must have covered up the crayon every time. Oh, I don't feel so good. <gasps> yeah, uh, I think that's all of them. Oh, Homer, where have you been? I just underwent a procedure to increase my IQ 50 points. Say something else smart. Dr. Joyce Brothers may be well known, but her psychological credentials are highly suspect. Dad, did you read all these books today? Everything from Hop on Pop to Death Be Not Proud. Nothing cracks a turtle like Leon Uris. Ow! Dang it! Ow! Ooh, found a new shortcut. Better. I was working on a flat tax proposal and I accidentally proved there's no God. Question! Yes, Nelson. A moron says what? Not being a moron, I wouldn't know. However, medium. What? Thank you. Unfortunately, due to budget cuts, we are canceling art, music, and dance. <laughs> what you mean with Homer? I've compiled a thorough safety report on this plant. Yeah, it's nice to have someone with brains in this nuclear plant. Homer's the guy who rigged up my pants with this special codpiece. It seems the Federales have been tipped off by an anonymous whistleblower. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Way to put us out of work, genius. I can't feed my family with a codpiece. Burn! Burn! Effigy, eh? Yeah, nothing burns like an effigy. You cost us our jobs, which we need for working. Not to mention driving to. Tavern. Ah! Power off, Einstein. In fact, I made a graph. I make a lot of graphs. A walk? That's a really good idea. Radical! Is that your final answer? <laughs> I don't understand. With that rich snob. Ably played by Bill Paxton. It's Bill Pullman, you fool!
if we gave you the name of an unlicensed surgeon? Oh, that would be heaven. See, Mo Sislak! I want you to stick this crayon into my brain. No problem. Oh, no! He wouldn't! All right. Extended warranty? How can I lose? Perfect. Dad, how could you? We were connecting in such a meaningful way. We were what, what, and a what, what? Uh, you really are. Oh, Dad. Well, oh, you want a hug. <laughs>